Thank you. Hey, my name is Valtteri. I flew in all the way from Finland, 20 hours or so, and, and um, I love computers. And I'm going to do the strangest thing. I'm going to talk and praise the newspaper to a hall full of journalists who probably already have forgotten what the newspaper even is. So newspaper is dying surprisingly hard. There's still a lot of those. Maybe not in the USA, but in the rest of the world at least. And, and, and there's a good reason for that. It's fulfilling a lot of fundamental needs and it has adapted to ourselves, to human beings for uh, over the last 200 years. So the first fundament is our eye. Um, <clears throat> you might think that um, when Steve Jobs introduced the retina display with uh, iPhone 4, then, then that's the, the end of the evolution of the display. Retina is the definition of, like, you don't need to get any better than that, right? Well, that's not right. There's things behind the retina, and, and uh, there is the visual cortex, and it's doing much more than this, like, 250 pixels per inch. It actually can do maybe 2,000 pixels per inch, if you talk about lines or, or kind of uh, um, contours or things like that. Maybe really, really small fonts or, or things like that. And the uh, eye also sees what it wants. If there's a strong emotion in your head, then the eye actually sees differently. And maybe you can manipulate the, that uh, emotion and then actually convey your message. The eye also comes of age. And, and as, uh, the newspaper has really been able to adapt to all these things. And I'm not sure if we have already, with our digital designs, uh, adapted to all those designs, or, or, or those constraints. Another fundament is the sun. The sun goes up and it goes down. We have our daily cycle as human beings. So every morning we want to have our breakfast. We want to have certain kind of information for our breakfast. And in the evening, as supper, we have our habits which produce some kind of security and kind of, uh, in a way, cozy feeling for ourselves. So uh, these are habits and we, we don't want to kind of get rid of those. And, and it, um, it's also the newspaper has really catered to those needs. And, uh, and number three is the community around us. Newspaper has really, every day, created a social reality. And that is also a need, if you think of it. Like, we don't want to live in these little bubbles alone, but we want to live in a community. And, and that has been a service that the newspaper has actually been providing to create this reality. It might be a business community, or it might be your like, local community. So, uh, there are these fundamental human conditions that the newspaper has adapted to, and I'm here to remind you that let's not forget all those great things, because with the smartphone newspaper or the iPad newspaper, you're not getting all of those things, and that's maybe a reason why uh, there still is a lot of newspapers. Okay, uh, newspapers provide a great way to provide text and designs, and, and there are... Um, elements in it which the modern devices can't actually cater to. So the display size, huge size. It's actually, the viewing angle is, is 90 degrees. It fulfills your whole vision, which means that actually you use your eyeballs to browse. Your eyeballs turn into automatically directed browsers, and then you get information, and actually, as a newspaper designer, you can even design the root of the eyeballs, and actually you, you can provide in that way benefit for the advertisers or, or for the people themselves. So some guys really excel in, in this type of thing, and, and this is a, a kind of uh, art which is more or less being forgotten these days. But um, do we need to forget that? And then finally there's the typeface. I mean, today it's you need you serve a number of browser platforms and, and devices and operating systems, and you struggle to provide a single typeface. But what, what if you could optimize that? 100 billion US dollars revenue for the circulation. That is a measure of how people still today value the newspaper. There is inherent values going down, but they are paying for something. So what are they paying for? So imagine if you would have a device like this, a big screen, you could do these designs, and, and you could actually provide much more 
So how would you design your own newspaper? Think about that. Thank you.